Hey everyone, I'm Mike Shikashio. Thanks for joining me for part two of this series on dog-to-dog -dog aggression. I'm gonna go through a couple case studies here and I'm gonna show you how I work with the dogs from kind of start to finish. So I kind of covered this history and prognosis and you can kind of think about this. Maybe it's your own dogs that are fighting or you're working with clients' dogs and you wanna know about the potential outcomes. And so I always discuss a prognosis with my clients that's gonna help them sort of objectively take a step back and say, is this going to be something I can continue working with? Is it gonna be just a management scenario? Is this something that it's not even safe to keep one of the dogs? Um, maybe I can make everything work out. So it all depends on a lot of these variables. They haven't had any fights since that last session. That was way back in uh, 2017 now. I can't believe it's been that long. Um, and in, uh, Kismet still continues to wear the muzzle when they are in context of not supervising the dogs together.